hell of a show. One hell of a show. Yes, it was like a show, wasn't it? You came through, Logan. We inspired them. Some of those young people are going to go home with a whole new outlook. They're going to start thinking about a career in fashion. We should do this on a regular basis, you know that? You really got into this. How could you not? All those fresh young faces, all that enthusiasm. You know, I feel like this business has given me so much. If I can give back just a little bit, then I say amen. That's what we did tonight. Well, I am proud of you, Rich Forrester. Thank you, Mrs. Forrester. Mm. Mm. I think we should get out of here and get home. Before we leave, I want to show you something. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Put these on. Follow me. Now stand back a little bit, okay? What's this? Hmm. It's belief. The spray. Wait a minute, you treated this fabric with the spray you've been working on? The spray that we're going to sell the public. Logan, this is phenomenal. I had no idea you were this far ahead. Yes, I know. I had no idea either until I stumbled across something yesterday. Turns out the spray has a much higher potency if it's heated during the final stages of development. I'm gonna zap a whole batch of that formula. How much heat is applied? 700 degrees exactly for 12 hours exactly anything less and it won't be effective anything more and it will be unstable dangerously unstable it could explode have you done shelf tests on this stuff well that's my next move but i have a hunch that its potency won't uh, disappear logan run those tests i mean right away whoa cowboy first things first look we're almost there we're almost there let's uh, cut to the chase my, my, aren't we anxious for success? Well, I'm anxious for a little something else. Let me program the Climatron and we're out of here. So soon? Yeah, you're the one who's in a cold sweat. Just in a cold sweat. Actually, it's a rather hot sweat. What is it about you these days? Are you even sexier than normal? I'm just working through something. What? It's kind of an energy field type of thing. Are you getting cosmic? Well, don't tell me you didn't feel it today in the seminar. <laughs> that was all those cute, nubile, sexy co-eds. No, there was a definite mm -hmm. vibe going on there. Very strong, too. Oh, and you want to take it out on me? Well, either that or I could... Uh... Say no more. I'm going to bake this formula. degrees for 12 hours. There. I'm ready. Finally. Don't you complain. I am well worth the wait. True. Except. Except what? Well, I'm not exactly in the mood anymore. <laughs> you haven't been out of the mood since you were 12. I wonder what happens next for us. It's kind of hard to tell where to go from here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Paradise, I guess. So take me there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are the kids home yet? Katie took him to a movie. Let's get home before they get back. Hmm. I'm not sure if I can make it home. I'll drive. And me? You, you do whatever makes you happy.
eating your oatmeal. Now come. Maybe Goldilocks would like some. Goldilocks loves porridge. Oh. Yum, yum. Good girl. How about Mama Bear? Would she like some? Oh, no, thank you, Papa Bear. Are you sure it's not too cold, it's not too hot, it's just right. Is it yeah. really? Well, now that everyone's eaten, I have to get to work. Can't keep that formula waiting. Sure can't. I'm really excited about it, too. Come on, let's go wash your face. I know you are. It's written all over your face. You're glowing. <laughs> I am not. Yes, you are. That can mean only one of two things. What? Either this belief spray is a shoe in or our other little project is already in the works. Our other little project? Yeah. What? You know, the family equation, one plus one equals five. Oh, bitch. So which is it? I don't know. It's too soon to tell. On both counts. Well, let's get to the office and check out those lab results. And you and I will work on our other little business tonight. <laughs> okay. Bridge, can you drop Eric Jr. at school today? I have to get to the lab ASAP. Logan, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm expecting a very important phone call from New York. I take it in the car, but all my notes are at the office. Bridge, the formula has to come out of the Climatron. Can't you just postpone your phone call? Look, normally I wouldn't ask you this, but this is really important. We could lose the sample if it overheats. Logan, I'm sorry. I've been waiting for this phone call for over a week now. I've got to be at the office. That's all right. I understand. I'll just try the experiment again some other day. Look, I'm going to be at work in a few minutes. You want me to take the sample out of the Climatron? Would you? Sure. Tell me what to do with it then. Well, just put it in the storage vault, and then I'll run the tests on it when I get there. OK. Worry, I'll take care of everything. Oh, thank you. I gotta take off as soon as I say goodbye to the kids. Mr. Lamb. Hey, Logan. No, not yet. I just got here. Okay, okay. As soon as I hang up the phone. Yeah. All right. I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye-bye. Nine hundred and ninety-nine degrees. I'm in the lab. Look, drop everything and get down here as soon as you can. Right now, I need your help. Hurry! Thank you. 